Anglo-Saxon Britain. The arrivals of the Anglo-Saxons and Jutes in Britain during the 400s and 500s created a new people, uh, the English, who were to dominate Britain. The Romans left Britain around 410. There was a brief revival of power of the now Romanized British. In 446, the British High King, Vortigern, invited German Saxons from the Rhineland to enter Britain as mercenaries to support his struggle with the Picts. The Saxons gained a foothold in the southeast, but they were held off between 500 and 539 by the now legendary British leader Arthur, supposedly. After a battle in 552, the Saxons started taking over southern and central England. Many Britons were killed or lost their lands. Many emerged, uh, many emigrated to Wales, Cornwall, Ireland, Scotland, Brittany, and southwest or northwest Spain. The birth of England. In the wake of the German invaders, many of their countrymen emigrated to England. During the 500s and 600s, they slowly populated the country. British towns, villages, and farms were abandoned, and the Celtic Christian church retreated with them. The Germans brought new farming and ownership patterns, and their pagan tribal groupings gradually took the shape of kingdoms. Seven kingdoms were eventually formed. East Anglia, Mercia, and Northumbria, which was ruled by the Angles, Essex, Sussex, and Wessex, ruled by the Saxons, and Kent, ruled by the Jutes. In 597, the Pope sent Augustine to convert the English. These converts coexisted with the pagans, but there were disputes with Celtic Christians. These were settled at the, at the Synod of Whitby in 664, where the Celts agreed to submit to papal authority. The Seven Kingdoms often fought to claim the title Bretwalda, Lord of Britain, in the 600s, the Northumbrian kings Edwin, Oswald, and Oswy, and in the 700s, the Mercian kings Ethelbald and Offa gained supremacy. Egbert of Wessex was the first king of a united England in 829. In 789, the first Vikings appeared in England, and by the middle of the 800s, they had started to settle. When Alfred the Great was king of Wessex in 871, the Vikings were threatened to overrun his kingdom. Alfred fought nine battles against them in one year alone. He finally defeated them in 878 and made them sign the Treaty of Wedmore, which divided England in two, the Saxon West and the Danlaw in the East. Alfred was lawmaker, scholar, and a just king. In his time, texts were translated into early English, and the Anglo-Saxon Chronicle, an important history book, was begun. By 970, Danlaw had won, had been won back by the Danes. England was reunified under Edgar, but in 1013, the Danes returned, and England was ruled until 1035 by the Danish king, Canute the Great. There was better cooperation between the Danes and Saxons under Edward the Confessor, but in 1066, his son Harold, having just fought invading Norwegians in Yorkshire, was beaten by invading neighbor Normans under Duke William.